Dub allows viewers to share videos on just about any channel that they're using. One-to-one -one email, text messages, and social media, and even bulk email and text messages are possible. In the coming videos, we're gonna show you the strength and benefits of each of the options for sharing a video and how you can decide based on the system that you're using and your goals, which ways you wanna share those videos. We're also gonna talk about tracking and how to get to see exactly how much of your videos are actually being watched, by who, when, and where, including how many times and which buttons and calls to actions are associated with those videos. One important step of being able to track your individual viewers is that those contacts have to be uploaded to Dub. There's another video for how to upload your contacts into Dub, but this is a prerequisite for being able to individually track your viewers. Contacts can either be entered one at a time as you're going along, or you can import them all at once. Contacts have to be in the database in order to be tracked, which is an important fact. All right, we're ready to share this video and track the results. The first method we're gonna cover is one-to-one -one sharing. Then we'll cover the bulk options. First, we're gonna talk about the universal copy and paste method. Any video you'd like to share, just click the big blue share and send button found here on the Dub Edit page. Here, you're gonna notice a number of options. The first field here says add an email for tracking. In the previous part of this video, I mentioned you'll either be able to add your contacts one at a time as you're going, or you can upload them all at once. Here, you'll just pull up a contact. Then add personalization text if you'd like to do that. In this example, I have a Gmail Compose window ready to go with best practices for email sending already added in. You always want to have the word video in the subject line along with some text in the body of the email before you add that video in. Now I'm going to click copy and paste and it's going to now copy, add it to my clipboard, and then I'm going to paste it in the body of the email. You can see it shows an animated GIF thumbnail inside the body of the email by default. This is the first three seconds of the video. However, this can be customized as mentioned in the editing video. This is the universal option for copying and pasting videos into any channel that you're already using, such as Gmail here or an Outlook or Yahoo or any pretty much platform you can think of. This is a universal option that will work for any channel. The optimization for a switch will be discussed in sharing. This switch optimized for Outlook when selected removes the animation from the, from the thumbnail so it is no longer animated. Instead of a GIF, it's just a still thumbnail. This creates a better viewing experience for some Outlook users by removing the animation. Some systems can cause email open tracking pixels to misbehave. If you're seeing your emails getting open more times than you'd like, you can disable the email open tracking pixel so it only shows when your videos are being viewed or clicked instead of showing every single open. This is another option that we'll be discussing for bulk sharing. Adding additional customization options for share and send are in the settings options. Just go to the settings and then customization and you'll find an option to change your default context message. So when you press this copy for email button, there is some default text included. You can see it says, check out this video from. This can be customized within your settings in the share and send section. You can change the message right there. There's also an option for a default personalization text, where this is the personalization if you'd like to have some there by default, so you don't have to manually enter each time. See you at the next video.